Hello everybody, how are we doing? And welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk briefly about a strategy that can, you can deploy in a company. Um, no matter what business you run, you can deploy this strategy and you can use it to achieve exponential scale, exponential growth, and ultimately you can make a ton of money in the process. Uh, my name is Charlie Morgan, I've built and scaled an agency to seven figures and now I run a coaching business around eight figures um, and yeah, I kind of share lessons that help me and I'm hoping that this video helps you. Let's get into it. Okay, so essentially what we're looking at here is something called a flywheel. Okay, now you may have heard of this before. Um, what I'm actually going to do is give you um, an example or two of how I create flywheels in my company. And what you should be able to do with your business is isolate things that move the needle, right? Needle moving things are basically variables or actions or activities or behaviors that ultimately move you closer and closer towards your goal. Um, ideally, with some level of asymmetry whereby the smallest level of input requires or produces the biggest level of output. So the best flywheels are ones that don't require much input and produce all the output you want. Um, so a flywheel basically works on a positive um, feedback loop, okay? So what it means is, you know, you have um, a cause, right? And then you have an effect. And then what happens as a result of the effect is it creates another cause, if that makes sense. So it just feeds back onto itself and through this we can achieve exponential scale. Now, if you've ever wondered why um, exponential scale occurs like this. <clears throat> you look at COVID, you look at the growth of certain companies, you look at the progress of certain people, right? It just seems to shoot up. That's because cause and effect basically just loops itself around and around and around. Then it hits a point of basically what you could call inflection, I suppose, where the positive feedback becomes so extreme that it just like it just shoots up, if that makes sense. And so, you know, you see this in all sorts of companies. The easiest example I can give you here um, is Amazon's. Okay, now Amazon has a pretty simple flywheel um, for customer experience, right? So this really revolves around like the best flywheel to build is the is the flywheel of the relationship between how well your current current customers feel and how easy it is to acquire new clients. So what we can actually do here is we can create a flywheel around your customer, right, and your prospects. Or your market because ultimately you know the more customers you get the easier it should be for you to get prospects here's the thing for most companies out there the more customers they get the harder it is for them to get prospects because their product sucks right so what we find in some instances for some businesses is a negative feedback loop right whereby the you know, you sign a customer and then that customer's experience with your business is suboptimal or subpar or they don't, they're not very happy. And then what happens is that it decreases your conviction and decreases your reputation, which then makes it harder for you to get prospects to become customers. So really the, the, the key to any successful company is obviously having a good product. But the way Amazon does this is, is really, really clever, right? So Amazon um, tracks their ability to create a great customer experience really against three metrics, right? So we're looking at the lowest prices, okay? Um, the biggest variety of products and the fastest shipping. So what Amazon have basically created is like a three piece flywheel here. The lower the prices, right? So the more, so first of all, this is a, this is a flywheel for customer service, right? Because what this does is it, it enhances the scale of the whole company. It just, it just fucking, it just keeps on flywheeling, flywheeling. Another example of this, um, you could look at Facebook, for example, right in the early days. Um, it's like, you know, people using Facebook, right? So the more people that use Facebook, the more people that join, right? And the more people that join, the more people that use it, and it just flywheels and flywheels and flywheels, right? So Amazon's is pretty clever because like, the, the lower prices they have, the more variety they have, the more variety they have, the faster shipping. Then like these things don't necessarily correlate perfectly with each other, but when you create all three of these and put them together, you create this flywheel where, where one thing feeds into another because you keep acquiring more customers. So the fa faster shipping, the more customers, the more customers, the, the lower the prices can be, the lower the prices can be, the more customers, the more variety they can add, right? And so all of these things, they feed back on themselves over and over again. Now, I'm gonna show you an example of how I've built this into my company. Um, so this is my product, Easy Grow. Um, we currently help agency owners, coach consultants, systemize client acquisition. And the easiest and most straightforward flywheel for my business is win posts in my community. 
Um, so we've got right now just under 600 people in the community. Um, it's extremely active. I think we get like 20 posts a day or something like that. Um, but one of the sort of core things of the culture inside of our community is people posting their wins, right? Um, and so we get, you know, probably anywhere between four to 10 win posts a day. But let me explain something to you um, if you have an info business that will help you um, and, you know, create this flywheel, okay? So basically the way this works is we have a school group, right? And what we encourage is we encourage people to post wins, right? So first of all, in order for someone to post wins, they have to actually get wins, which means your product has to be good. But once you've got wins, right? What this does is it works um, quite a lot of magic. So let me explain the win flywheel that we have, that I've created, or that just, just has naturally manifested as a result of um, the community of our culture being conducive to sharing positive news about this, their own success. How it works is the more wins we get, right? The more conviction my sales team has. The more wins we get, the first thing is the more wins we get. So school is pretty good because it helps you create like gamification and gratification stuff. But what I've noticed is like, I mean, we've, so I've, this community has been active now since February. So February, March, February, March, April, May, June. So about four months, right? And if I'm looking down here, we've got 406 win posts, right? So that's really, I mean, what we've been doing this for four months, that's a hundred win posts. So that's roughly on average three win posts every single day, give or take. Now, bearing in mind people use it less on weekends, so it's probably more, but you got about three posts a day, right? And this is just getting better and getting better. So it's just becoming exponentially like more, there's more wins just coming through every day. So the more people that post their wins, the more people that post their wins. And the more people that post their wins, the more people that post their wins. <laughs> and so this is just like a beautiful, beautiful little flywheel. But where this really comes into effect is with my team. So the more wins we see, the more conviction, right, my sales team can have, and the more conviction my appointment setting team can have. The more conviction that they have, the more customers we get, right? Because obviously conviction results in like more conversions, conviction is conversion, right? And then that means we get more wins. And so just by getting people to talk about their success, team has more conviction, we get more customers, we get more people talking about their success, team has more conviction, we get more customers, more success, and it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes like this until the point where, you know, it just becomes part of the culture. Look at Tony, for example, um, he posted this, what, like 15 hours ago, I think he got like the button, just just meetings and it's, it's very common now for people to do this. And the funny thing is, is when I had a Facebook group, this was significantly harder to do, but with school, for some reason, people are just way more um, likely to post their wins. Um, but, you know, it's like, if you haven't got this sort of, um, if you have an info business and you haven't got this sort of culture where people just constantly post wins, you need to curate it because there's so much power in it. You need to try and figure out, like, how can I create a self-sustaining flywheel in my business. Like something like this that ultimately helps me acquire more customers, but more importantly, right, the funny thing about this as well is we create another flywheel, right, where we acquire more customers and the overall experience of these customers is improved because of the amount of wins we get. And then because of the experience, they, they, they have the experience and then they're like, oh, this is good, this feels good because people are posting wins. And then it encourages them to take more action, which means they get more wins. So when a new person comes into the group, and they basically see like everyone winning, right? And they see all these wins, then what happens is they're more likely to take more action on activities that are gonna get them wins, which means their overarching customer experience is massively improved because they take more action to actually get more results. And then because that person took more action to get more results, they post the wins, they then inspire more people just like them to take more action. And so it just, this win flywheel just goes and goes and goes in all these directions where it positively impacts the team culture because we just naturally now see like the product as a winning product, which, and the community is just a community of winners. New customers come in, they see these wins, they, they are motivated, inspired, and they have more conviction to finish payment plans, which then flywheels them to more cash. And then more importantly, like the wins create more wins, which create more wins, which create more wins. And 
then everyone's just winning, right? And so that's just a roundabout way of saying that just get your customers to post your wins. Now, if you have a marketing agency um, and you're not community-based, obviously it's a little, tri little trickier, but I'd encourage you to think critically about what can you do in your business to just have this some sort of flywheel in place. It is, whether it's a referral-based system or you know anything like that, but just ask yourself how you can do it because it's helped me massively. If you need more clients, there's a link in the description to check out. Have a good day.